Sometimes I Forget Written by Jeffrey E. Bright Performance and audio production by Jeff Clement The doctors said I might have trouble remembering things. They told me chronic traumatic encephalopathy could result in mood swings and lost memory. CTE happens when you've had as many concussions as I've had. Sometimes I forget I even played professional football for eight grueling years. I hear the oven timer ringing in the kitchen. What was I cooking? I am hungry, but I can't recall setting the timer or putting anything in the oven. I must have. Sometimes I forget and have to set a timer to prevent accidents. I walk into the kitchen. There's light smoke coming from the oven. I rush over and open the oven door. A wave of heat and smoke hit me. Whatever I was cooking is probably burnt and inedible. I go to grab the smoking roaster pan and curse as the hot metal burns my hands. Sometimes I forget why pot holders were invented, and I pay the price in second degree burns. Grabbing a kitchen towel, I quickly pull out the pan and drop it onto the range top. I remove the lid and find a partially burnt turkey. Hmm. Maybe I can salvage a sandwich from the large bird carcass. I go to grab a knife from the knife block on the counter. I notice the 8 inch chef's knife, my favorite blade to carve, is missing from the block. Did the wife use it and put it in the dishwasher? Did I use it and not put it back? Sometimes I forget and have to retrace my steps. But what did I do today? I go into the living room and look around. I have no memory if I went to work or if it was my day off. This gets me frustrated when I lose time. But I keep hearing the doctors talking about the long-term effects of CTE. The damn furniture doesn't even look familiar. Sometimes I forget a whole day of events and memories filter through my brain like an old movie. I decide to go upstairs and look around. Hopefully that will jog my Swiss cheese memory. The kids' rooms are unoccupied and messy like always. The bedroom of me and my wife is slightly better, a few clothes scattered about and the bed unmade. Sometimes I forget to make the bed or pick up after myself. As I walk back down, I notice some dark spots staining their way down the gray stair carpeting. It's brownish, like dried chocolate syrup. <sighs> this really irritates me. Cleaning that crap off the carpet is not cheap or easy. Sometimes I forget how my kids fail to respect how good they have it. My hands are blistering from the burn, so I decide to go back to the kitchen for some ice. I feel a little wimpy about such a superficial injury. But... I sigh, knowing if I leave it be that I might not remember to treat it later. Sometimes I forget to take care of myself, and minor wounds eventually become major infections. Getting ice from the freezer, I notice the same dark spots leading into the basement. Now I'm getting pissed. What the hell were those kids doing? I tried to calm myself by telling my anger that it was on a surface I could easily clean with a wet rag. That is, if I could remember where I put the cleaning supplies. Sometimes I forget where I put things. I decide the logical place for cleaning stuff would be in the basement. This is a small house, so I guess we would maximize our space by keeping that stuff down by the washer and dryer. I get down the steps and see my wife and two kids, bound and gagged, tied to the large sewage pipe running across the basement wall. My two children are covered in dried chocolate sauce and are not moving. My wife is wide-eyed and hoarsely screaming through her gag. <sighs> 
Sometimes I forget that I'm not married. I never had any kids. I see the chef's knife sticking from the boy's chest and slowly pull it from the wound. I wipe it off on a clean part of his shirt. The woman does the only thing she can do as I approach her. She starts kicking at me. I wrap her flailing legs under one of my massive arms and look deeply into her tear-streaming eyes. She knows it is her time and there's nothing she can do to prevent her death. I raise the knife and plunge it into the soft skin just above her collarbone. The blood wraps around the knife blade and trickles into her blouse where it begins to soak into the cotton. It takes a few moments before her eyes roll back into her head and her body goes limp. Sometimes I forget how enjoyable taking a life can be.